So Facebook released their new app called Facebook Creator App. And this app is all focused around live video, engaging with your audience, growing an audience, and really just becoming a video creator. If you record YouTube videos or any kind of live videos, this shouldn't be new to you. There's a whole um, YouTube creators um, community and a lot of these other, there was a Periscope creators community, things like that. So Facebook, um, who is now dabbling in live, um, videos not even dabbling they're not they're kind of taking over they now have this facebook creators app for everyone and so today i'm going to go through an overview of the app and give you everything that you need to just kind of understand how it works here's the caveat i'm going through with my personal profile um, i'll explain all of that in just a second but let me actually go through some of the features on here and then we'll jump in and i'll give you some other items so at the lower left hand corner you're going to see the home button right and i'm just going to scroll through through if you see if you look at the top it gives me some analytics this is my personal um, profile so my Nina Thomas profile and it's telling me I got one follower yesterday on my personal profile right it also tells me how many video views which is weird because I'm not sure how many um, videos I've uploaded um, I'm gonna go ahead and click on the eye and it gives you a couple of details about your new followers I'm gonna scroll down and you'll see that my most recent posts like Facebook creators app um, has been posted there it also shows who I'm following um, and remember, this isn't your friends, this is who you're following. You do have the ability to follow people's stories, follow different videos. So you'll see different people that I'm following at the top. And Facebook does this automatically, so don't be alarmed if there's people you haven't specifically followed. Okay, so these are your stories, and these are your posts that you can kind of go through. So it's kind of re replacing your um, your timeline, okay? So I'm gonna go back over to post. Keep in mind that Facebook creators app is really geared towards live video. And so you're gonna be able to see your analytics on video. So I'm gonna keep on scrolling. I did a, like a 17 second live video the other day, right? And you'll see that I now have see video insights. So I'm gonna click on see video insights. This was like a really super quick, okay? And you'll see the video summary. And if you look, I can see the engagement, how many video views, and how many total viewed uh, minutes viewed. And this actually just changed in the last couple of seconds. So the data doesn't come in instantly, but just to give you an idea, these are some of the analytics that you can get. Of course, your video isn't gonna be 17 seconds. It's gonna actually be um, a longer video. Now you won't see on your regular videos that you upload, let me see if I can find any. You don't get any analytics on those. I haven't seen any button that shows um, analytics. So this is just for live videos. Okay, you can comment, do all that kind of stuff like you normally do. GIFs, emojis, nothing else has changed there. You could also save your post. Um, the next one is if you want to create a post, right? So I'm going to turn this on here. Your left hand side, you'll see that there's different filters, right? Kind of like Snapchat stories, nothing new, right? You could also switch the camera. The next one is for the light. The next one is to add people. I'm gonna go ahead and finish it, but I do want you to notice at the bottom, some of the information is actually showing as well. Hey, Aisha, I'm actually ending this. I'm just doing a YouTube video right now. Okay. Okay, I deleted that, but just like normal, you could have saved it or you could have um, posted it. Let's move on to the next one. This is your notifications, and I've been getting notifications from um, create the Creator app all day. I don't know why I'm getting it from Creator app and Messenger and Facebook, but I think they're kind of merging. One thing that you can do is you can connect all of your inboxes so you can actually see it as a unified inbox. So all of your messages you can see here. I'm gonna go through that in just a second. The next one, you'll see this is your total video insights. So this means your items um, that you've posted within a certain date. If you see at the top, there is a summary of the dates, the past week, you can do 30 days, 
60 days. And these are all personal videos. So I'm getting analytics on my personal um, live videos, right? So I'm gonna go back and you can scroll and you can see how many people um, followed you. So there you go as far as the insights. In your top left-hand corner, you can do a little selfie. Um, and then there's different items that you can do here, right? Now, there is a Facebook Live toolkit that I'll be going through. Oh, this is kind of cute. In a separate video. Um, and you can actually create kind of like your own filters. And so what that means is um, you can actually create a little frame, little icons. You can do an intro video for your live videos. You can do an um, outro video kind of like YouTube and so what I'm gonna do is I'll show you those in a separate video kind of how you start that okay all of these buttons are the same let me just see how I can get out of this all right so back to my normal um, timeline I'm gonna go to the top right notice I can't get to groups or pages these are only for connecting people again I'm on my personal profile logged into this I want to go up to, um, and actually I don't want to go here, I want to go up to settings. These are the share settings that I told you about. If I click on share settings, I can connect to both my Twitter and my Instagram so then I can actually send um, videos there. I will do a separate video on that. There's another item here that says Facebook creator frequently asked questions. These are actually pretty good. I'm going to base my videos on these. but you'll see that they have very quick questions and direct answers. So what is it? What is the creator app? How do I set up a page? All of those kind of things, right? Okay, and then there's other items here. I'm gonna go ahead and log out and I'm gonna create a separate video that's gonna go through a setup of Facebook creator app with my business page. Again, this was my personal page. If you have any questions, leave them below. Also, if you have not, um, watch the video of how to join the Facebook for Creators community. I posted that today. So go ahead and head over and watch that video. And then um, just make sure you take note about a couple of things. If you sign up with your personal profile, you're going to make sure that your posts are public so you can reach more people, right? Um, and you'll get your video summary and all of that. If you're gonna use your Facebook page, like your business page, there are some additional items that you're gonna to wanna to do. Um, and you're gonna actually want to change your category to video creator so you can get um, or sign up for this Facebook creator app. If you wanna know how to do that, leave your questions below and I'll create a video on that. For now, that's it. Thanks, bye.